Oh, hello there. And welcome to an episode of Behind the Scenes at the Museum. So what am I doing today, you might ask yourself. Well, what I'm doing today is what's known as blacking the stove. And this was the unfortunate job that had to be done fairly often uh, in, uh, whenever you had a wood stove. And uh, if you were in a grand household, this was the kind of job that would have been done by the scullery maid. But in the backwoods of Pickering Township, it would have been, you know, just the mother of the family that would have been doing this, or perhaps some of her children would have been helping with it. Why you need to black a stove, as you can see, it's a sort of a, a very lovely black paste. And what this does is it, it, it has a little bit of a protective barrier uh, between the cast iron and water. Because what happens when you get water on a stove, if you take a look at it, you can see you get this very kind of ugly looking rusty spots. And you don't really want to look at that on the stove for one thing. It's also not, not good for the finish. So what you have to do is you have to take this paste and reminiscent of a certain movie that a lot of us saw many years ago, I think. It's a case of wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. And this is what we do to sort of get the finish going here and make it look absolutely beautiful. The first time you use the stove after you blacked it, there is a little bit of a, a, a slight bit of, of smoking that occurs, but nothing that's dangerous. And this is a really good idea to keep your wood stove in excellent condition. Now, stoves were a bit of a problem for people in the old days. Um, most people had a stove in their kitchen like this, a wood stove. These would have been available from about the 1830s, but by mid-century, about 1850s, everybody had a wood stove. And the thing with the wood stove was they came with all the accoutrements. So when you bought one, it came with pots and pans and, and all kinds of things that went with it. And uh, so you, you'd put your stove in your kitchen and there would be a whole uh, con contraption of pipes that would go through the rest of your house. Now we've, of course, for health and safety, uh, we've had to vent our pipe out, out in a proved modern manner. But in the old days, the stove pipes went all the way through the buildings. And I'm just gonna take you through the other room so you can have a look at these pipes. Now these pipes went from each wood stove, so there's, in this house there's three wood stoves. These pipes would have gone uh, up into the uh, upper attics and so forth. So they, they would have heated this room, would have heated the next room, and then there's some stove pipes that actually go right up through the floor into the children's bedroom upstairs, and that would have heated that bedroom as well. Now a much hated task in the spring, and as part of their spring cleaning, was that all of these stove pipes had to be taken down taken apart and thoroughly cleaned on the inside out of the, there was a lot of soot and creosote on the inside. And you can imagine what a horrible, dirty job that would have been. Apparently everybody, uh, when you read the diaries of the 19th century, a lot of the women complain about the day that the stovepipes are taken down. Another difficult day would have been the day when this, the big wood stove would have been moved to the summer kitchen. And that would have been a big performance too, because of course the cast iron stove is very heavy. So you would have had to get a lot of manpower to help to move that from your main building to your summer kitchen. Uh, that was done for two reasons, mostly to keep the heat out of the building uh, for the summer, and you could do all of your jam making and preserving and so forth without heating up your main house. Uh, the other reason, of course, would be uh, to, again, just make it a little less danger of fire, because fire was always a very big danger uh, in, in those days because of the use of uh, wood. Um, the other thing with the wood stove is some people, if they had more means, would actually have a wood stove in their summer kitchen already and still have a wood stove in their main kitchen, which would be cold for the summer, and they would just use the other wood stove. So, so that's a little look at some of the, uh, the good and bad things about having a wood stove. So if you're taking a look at this, you can see what a difference that this actually makes, this polish. And it's going to be a lot of wax on, wax off for me for the next uh, hour or so. But while I'm uh, pausing to take my breath here, I just want to let you know that this stove was actually made in Carlton Place and uh, by the Finley Brothers, 1880, this particular stove, and uh, it was called the Forest Beauty. And one of the things about these wood stoves that I absolutely love, that make it such a pleasure to clean, is that they always seem to have some sort of lovely um, raised motifs on it. This one is a stag with a forest in the background. You can see all kinds of, uh, of trees and flowers in the background here. One of our other stoves has a castle with turrets on the side of it, which I just love. So it actually makes you feel kind of nice when you've, when you've actually been working on the stove and you get it to be nice and glossy and black and you get to see this beautiful artwork as well. So that's one of the things that we do behind the scenes. So thanks for joining us and, uh, and hope we'll see you again. Dum, 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 dum. Ba, 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 ba,